Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today I'll be reviewing this SSD solid state drive, which is the Silicon Power A55. It comes in this kind of packaging, you can see. This is the new. I'll be installing this silicon power A55 into this laptop. It's a Lenovo uh, laptop. It's quite old. It's a Lenovo B50, which I reviewed a couple of years back. I'll have the link in the description. So what happened? This Lenovo laptop has its uh, hard disk it had its hard disk failed so that's the reason i'm going to upgrade it with this silicon power ssd so before that let us unbox let us unbox the uh, the ssd Let's quickly here it is. It's so slim, seven millimeters. You can see quite slim so it will definitely fit into an ultrabook so here's a comparison between laptop hard disk like this one and this definitely the hard disk is uh, slightly heavier and uh, you can see the, even the width the SSD is quite slim so definitely it will fit on an ultrabook even I shall also be adding this a stick of RAM this the Lenovo laptop a 4 GB stick of RAM it already has 4 GB installed in it so adding another 4 GB to make it 8 GB Here I have the Lenovo B5080, which I reviewed a couple of years back. Uh, the link will be in the description, and also there will be a card uh, linked. So this is it. Now what happened? This laptop, the hard disk failed, and it was becoming too slow. So now it's in, in such a state that it doesn't load quickly. An hour just to get into Windows uh, and then even you can't access files and anything. So, but I was able to retrieve the files. Uh, and so we will upgrade it with the silicon power a55 and upgrade the ram to 4 gb so without wasting your time i shall quickly open the and it's quite easy it's quite easier than other laptops because all you have to do is disconnect the battery here
and then remove these two screws and the back panel easily slides out so then you can see the 4 GB RAM and the hard disk this is the bulky hard disk so quickly I, I shall unscrew the hard disk from its caddy not wasting your time So there are a couple of screws I've already which I've already know in just in the interest of time. That this comes out easily like this. Then slide in the SSD Okay, hard disk is in. Uh, the, sorry, the SSD. And then this is the 4 GB RAM upgrade. It's exactly the same as the other one. The original. The same. 11380 Here's the first boot up after installing the new SSD. Tries to check for the media, different things. Boot is failed. Need to go to. So it's good if it it's to the. I have this uh, GB flash disk or thumb drive uh, to install, which, uh, which already has Windows 10, which I'll be using to install. Uh, Windows 10 on this machine. So in the boot menu, bias boot menu, you can see the Core i3 processor, the, the 8 GB uh, memory and the solid state disk. As you can see this PCC. So we need to first of all disable the security yeah see it should be uh secure boot should be disabled and the boot usb boot so now it has booted into windows 10 installation screen as you can see via the uh, 
the flash disk or thumb drive. So we shall be continuing with insulation. So we shall be using the entire 512 GB of the SSD. Now we are into Windows as you can see uh, and the process was extremely fast uh, approximately 15 minutes to install Windows that's incredible amazing so you can now know the performance of this so now you can see we are into windows and let's test out the speed so where these are just day-to-day -day applications your word your excel basically your office you can see quite snappy and it feels so snappy it's so fast definitely the ssd plus the memory upgrade is really helping crystal smart gave a good score Test is over, speeds are as advertised and uh, applications noticeably load quite fast. We did several reboots and uh, the application launching is consistent. With the hard disk, this would be at 100% most of the time, with even a small application running. But now, as you can see, memory is enough now to 8 GB. So worthwhile upgrades um, if you like this video if this video was uh, of help kindly subscribe it will help this channel um, and uh, it will help me make more content please please subscribe like comment thank you for watching till next time